सो इन दिस के टी आई एल गिव यूर डेमो ऑफ काफ का जे डी बी सी सिंह कनेक्टर बाई विच आई मीन द सोर्स इज काफ का एंड द डेस्टिनेशन इज माई सीक्वल एंड वी आर ट्रांसमिटिंग डेटा फ्रॉम काफ का टॉपिक टू परसिस्टिंग डेटा इन माई सीक्वल डी बी यूजिंग अ काफ का जे डी बी सी सिंह कनेक्टर वी विल बी यूजिंग इन एडिशन टू दैट वील हैव टू यूज़ अ स्कीमा रजिस्ट्री कंसिडरिंग माई सीक्वल इज अ रिलेशनल डेटा बेस एंड इट रिक्वायर्स अ प्री डिफाइन स्कीमा दैट इज़ द रीजन स्कीमा रजिस्ट्री कम्स इन टू पिक्चर एंड इफ वी हैव टू अवॉ इफ वी आर टू अवॉइड स्कीमा रजिस्ट्री वील हैव टू ट्रांसमिट दैट स्कीमा इन एवरी मैसेज सो विच इज़ नॉट एन एलिगेंट वे ऑफ डूइंग इट दैट इज द रीजन वी विल बी यूजिंग स्कीमा रजिस्ट्री फॉर दिस डेमो सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू इनिशियल सेटअप फॉर सेटअप वील हैव टू इंस्टॉल दीज things so first we will have to install the database and a gui to basically check that out uh, this is the link which i have uh, mentioned in the document as well you can uh, for mysql you can simply use the brew package manager of mac home brew package manager of mac and you can install by using brew install mysql let's just uh, i have already installed that beforehand so if i check uh, the services which i have installed using brew i'll see mysql as you can see my sql is there let's just start it meanwhile it's starting uh, the uh, in addition to installing my sql you'll have to have a workbench uh, to check the check uh, it is it will it will give you give us a better gui to check the database and table etc so we'll install we'll download that as well and uh, i've already downloaded before and to save us some time my sql is started so let's just uh, check that using gui so that's how you make connection you can simply click on plus and just write the connection i've already made one and so let's just connect as you can see you are connected you can check out all the schemas here you can create schema using this and if there's some table you will be able to see the tables here as well so so on my sql and my sql workbench is done let's start let's just proceed with kafka so i've already downloaded kafka by following the link uh, mentioned in the document so you'll be redirected to this you can download using kafka and then for the unzip it and proceed with uh, starting it so let's just run the command we'll start the zookeeper first move to kafka directory then once zookeeper is started we'll start kafka kafka server okay it's not started let's just restart again hmm started now uh kafka server will be up now okay, once your kafka is up you can create a topic uh by running this command they just uh, name the topic has demo topic okay so we have created demo topic uh, that also tells ki kafka is up and running and you can check that out also there will be log corresponding to demo topic let's move on to uh, or uh, to install schema registry Just open a new shell. Okay, the Docker is not up and running, so let's just start Docker.
ओके सॉरी इट टुक सम टाइम एनी वेज एडजस्ट पुल स्कीमा रजिस्ट्री सो सिंस इमेजेस आई हेड ऑलरेडी डाउनलोडेड बिफोर एंड हैंड इमेजेस अपडेट अप टू डेट लेट जस्ट नाउ वी विल सिंपली स्टार्ट द स्कीमा रजिस्ट्री by copying this command so just run we'll run this uh, image which we have pulled and we can check the logs as you can see your schema just check as soon as it will be up it is starting our schema registry is starting okay so it started so guys up and running and my sequel is also up we have uh, downloaded a docker image of schema registry and uh, started it at 8081 port so our last step is to configure our jdbc sync connector and our schema registry is also pointing to our lo local kafka bootstrap server you can uh, host dot host docker internal points to local host you, if it's not working just change it to the ip address now move on let we'll move on to configuring the sync property so you for jdbc sync connector we have downloaded confluent jdbc sync connector let's check that out cd confluent uh, kafka connect jdbc 10.7.4 this so this is the version we version we downloaded if we check that out there would be a etc directory and in that we have our sync and source properties so considering this is a demo of uh, kafka jdbc sync connector so we will be updating our sync properties and uh, i have already updated but let's just uh, change the topic name let's say topic jdbc sync topic okay let's just uh, uh, we'll uh, remove the connection url which comes default that is of sql lite and we'll replace it by mysql and uh, let's just change the database name to check test okay and uh, our converter schema is confluent json schema converter and we enable the schema so these are the properties which we'll have to update let's just save that and also considering you are using mysql you'll have to uh, download mysql connector jar mysql connector jar and just copy this jar present here and replace it in the uh, uh, just place it in uh, confluent jdbc sync connector slip directory so as you can see i have already replaced it here my sql connector 8.2.0 jar okay so once you have done that uh, let's just start okay so move to kafka so we will start our uh, jdbc sync connector in stand alone mode for that we have this file uh, present in bin folder connect connect.standalone sh so by this uh, script we will basically start uh, our jdbc sync connector it requires two properties uh, which is connect standalone property and sql lite property just copy that uh, let's just sorry paths is not mentioned uh, let's just copy this and 
can update the path replace it with wherever you have installed and uh, downloaded and unzipped your confluence kafka connect jdbc jar okay one more thing you'll have to update connect standalone properties also with uh, uh, confluent connect uh, jdbc jar and json schema converter which will require to deserialize and serialize the json uh, message coming from kafka okay so let's just start that our jdbc sync connector is up we will produce the Kaf uh, message uh, in Kafka topic that is JDBC sync topic which we configured on our, in our sync properties file. Okay, so we will just uh, copy this and we will be using Kafka JSON schema console producer provided by Confluent which is bundled with schema registry so that our deserialization and serialization can be done. You can uh, send using uh, Java command as well. I will be using this utility provided by Confluent. Let's just enter. Okay. So ID, let's just say 100, name say test user. And once this is pushed, Let's check the logs. Okay, so it's saying unknown database test because we do not have a database test. We'll create one. Using this create schema command. So our schema is created. Let's just run the command again. Okay, as you can see, as soon as because uh, in Kafka, the retention period by default, there is some retention period. So our message was not consumed. Hence, as soon as our JDBC sync connector is up, uh, we have uh, created a table considering we have not provided any table name. So it will by default it uses table name as uh, the topic name. As you can check here, table name format is uh, topic. If you want to change that, just at, uh, change the attribute value of this table name format. For now, that this will be the topic name, and let's just check that in our uh, SQL DB by using the workbench. As you can see, this is the DB. There's one table, JDBC sync top topic. Let's check out the content. This is the content. The content which we produced was this only in the uh, desktop. If I am making some error, it is getting giving me this error. Let's just start again and produce one more message. ID 200 name Kritika. Okay. So let's just check the table again. Again an entry is there. So we successfully uh, completed the demo of uh, transferring a data from a Kafka topic to MySQL DB using a Confluence Kafka JDBC sync connector and the schema registry. So that's it for today. Uh, in case I saved you some time, just subscribe or at least smile because life is too small not to.